in the front end so you can run the application properly and you can follow the exact step which i'm following you in this video so you will have no issue and i will also give you a quick walkthrough of the smart contract that where you have to make the changes in the contract and in the front end so when you will download the final source code you will get a zip file and when you will unzip that particular file you will call get this particular folder called airdrop project inside that you will have this two folder and one readme file which contain all the instruction which you have to follow to run this particular project including the video which i'm recording so this is the final code for the entire project which we're going to write it together and this is the startup file if you want to follow from start to beginning in the tutorial so let me run this particular one and let me show you what you have to do so the very first thing you have to do is you have to come back open up your terminal let me stop the application from running and so right now we are into this main directory airdrop project the very first thing you have to do is you have to get into this particular folder so simply type cd drop crypto so once you are into this particular folder then you have to install all of these packages and make sure you have to install exact package no matter when you are watching this particular project five years ten years you have to install the exact version because all of these version are well compatible and very co easily configurable in the project so make sure to use it exact version and that's what i'm going to do it so i'm going to simply remove this node module and i'm going to reinstall it to show you because when you will get the final code you won't you won't have this node module in that so simply open up your and before you install you have to check your node version and npm version so currently i'm using this node version using this 18.12.1 and make sure to use the exact node version so you will have no issue if you go with the npm and i'm using this npm version so you have to use the exact version if you have the higher version or lower version make sure to downgrade or upgrade to this particular one it will work fine so that's the first requirement once you done with this then simply clear your terminal and you have to install the packages all of these packages so simply type npm i it's going to install all the libraries and don't need to worry these packages we have included in the project they are very light in nature and it's going to install it very quickly it's not going to create any problem because they are very light now you have to simply clear your terminal so once we have done the installation now the second part is done now the third part is you have to come back to your smart contract so here we have this two contract and this is the airdrop contract is the main one you can literally create any token here i have taken this iphone token which i have given name you can call it whatever you want but literally you can use any token and in the final code i'm going to give you this erc20 token contract so you can simply make the changes if you want to change the name of your token you can call it whatever you want you can change name and the symbol that's the only thing you have to do and when you will deploy you're going to simply define the supply so here we are going with this number this supply so this is the token contract now if you come back to the airdrop contract here we have multiple things so here we have this abstract contract which deals with the message dot sender and the data ier20 it's an interface where we have all the functionality about the approval and all of that then we have this metadata then we have this erc20 context and erc20 to metadata then we have this save math library then we have this ownable contract then we have this token and here we have our contract so this one is the important one so here you can see what we are doing that we are using the math library and here we are making as a reusable model so you can see this is the airdrop amount that how much amount we allow the user to claim during the airdrop here i'm not going with the fixed value but you can go with the fixed value and make it dynamic so admin can control it and here we have the token contract so admin can change the token which he or she allow to provide an airdrop and this is the fee again you can go with this particular fee or you can charge no amount here we have the airdrop mapping in that we are keeping all the information about the user who will claim and here we have the public so the only change you have to do is here in the fee if you want to charge fee or not or you can simply charge it from the front end or you can charge make a constant variable here as well so these are the things are fine and that's the only thing you have to do you don't need to do anything else you don't need to do anything else so that's the entire smart contract now we have to deploy the smart contract so we're going to use remix id for deployment we're not going to use hard hat because some of you are going to encounter an issue with the hard hat library so we're going to use this remix id so all you have to do is to simply select and copy come back here go back to the remix id i hope you already know what remix id is so i'm going to come back to the remix id and i'm going to deploy my contract to the polygon you can literally pick any network 
binance any network but i'll go with this polygon test because it's a test contract so i will open this one i will create a file let's call it airdrop dot so that's the file i have taken i'm going to remove the old one delete the old one and right now i have this i'm going to simply paste the entire smart contract which we're going to write it together in our remix id make sure to check the come back here in the compiler section and make sure to make it auto compile so it's going to generate the api and it will compile your contract so we have no issue in our contract so that's the first thing now we have to come back here and we have to check and connect with our metamask so right now you will see i'm going to use this account number six because most of you already know about the private key so i'm going to use this i'm not going to use any other account and i already have this much token in this particular id so you can see i have this much fund which is good enough to deploy the contract to the polygon but in case if you don't have the fund and if you don't have the network right now i have all the network so i can pick any network for deploying the contract like binance change mumbai folk mainnet but i will go with the mumbai because i i don't have a real fund but i have do have test fund which i'm going to use it so if you don't have this network you can simply add it so first thing come back here and type polygon polyscan and simply scroll down and click on this add polygon network it's going to add the main network but if you want to add the test network which i already added and which i'm going to use it so you can simply click on this mumbai test and here you will have the button for adding the test network same goes with all the blockchain so you have to go to the block explorer to that particular blockchain so if you want to deploy to binance go back to the binance change and you will have the similar button as you can see and you can simply deploy so that's the first thing once you added your network once you added the network in the metamask make sure to select and you are connected with that now the second thing is that you have to get the fund so i'm going to use polygon mumbai so i have to get some free Forset, which will help me to deploy the contract. So I'll come back to the Acmely Forset. So this website is really popular and it will give you the free Matty, which you can use to deploy the contract. So right now they will give you the six option, but the problem we have in the Ethereum, Optimum, Arbitrum, Base, and Ethereum that you need to have a real fund in in these network to your account, then you can claim the free Forset. But that's not the case in the Mumbai. So I'll simply come back here, and I'm good. Click on this copy the address i can simply paste the address and i can make in claim so it's going to transfer the fund so right now i have already done the transfer so i have to wait for 24 hours and i already have the fund so in your case you will have the, your fund right up here in your wallet address which you will provide so once you receive the fund now you can come back here and make sure to reload the page because sometime this injected provider takes a little bit time now this time it has taken here we have the wallet address and this much fund i have now i can simply deploy it and if i come back here this is the contract i'm going to deploy if i open this one here you have to provide two things you have to provide the token address which you want to allow user to claim an airdrop and you have to provide the amount that how much amount they can claim so in this scenario what i'm going to do is i will open my metamask i'll come back here in the iphone i'm going to use this one so if i took you back here in the iphone token so this contract i have already deployed this contract i have already deployed you can simply deploy it but i already deployed i'm going to use this same one so if i come back here this is the token i have already deployed simply copy this one and i hope you know how to deploy the token it is the exact same simply copy the code paste here and simply deploy that's the only thing you have to do i will show you how you can deploy that as well so here you have to provide the address of the token so i'll going to take the address copy this one and i'm going to paste the address so that's the first thing then you have to provide the amount because in our constructor you will notice that we are providing the amount which we're going to use it for deployment so if i come back here i'll go back to the way to ether converter click on this and the initial airdrop i will provide so when the user will claim airdrop they will give two tokens so i'll go with two token and make sure you have to provide this amount in way you can go five you can provide any amount but i'll provide two token whenever they will claim the airdrop so i can come back here i can provide the amount the two token now all i have to do is i have to simply make the transaction so let me make it up and let's call this transaction it's going to make a call to the polygon metamask click on confirm and it will deploy your contract if you want to deploy your token you can do the exactly the same thing deploy your token and provide the address so here the transaction is completed here you will find the address 
of your token so simply copy this one you can come back to the test network mumbai and you can simply check that your contract is deployed successfully just now 15 second ago we have deployed our contract so we got our contract deployed the airdrop contract now you have to get the address copy come back here in the code editor and now you have to go back to the constants go back to the constants here and here you have to change the address here you have to change the address so i'll say simply replicate that one i'm going to simply comment this and i'm going to provide this one change the so we have changed this airdrop address that's the first thing you have to do this is the new address which we have just deployed and what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply remove this as well and now we have to provide the address of the token so we have provided this iphone address so i'll come back here go to this and i will simply copy this one because this is the token we have assigned in our airdrop and that's what i'm going to simply provide here remove and paste here so we got it so make sure to check change and the reason why we are making the change here because we have to fetch the information about the token that what is the name of the token what is the amount we have in the airdrop contract that's why we are providing here so we are done with this airdrop address and we are done with this token which we are holding in the airdrop so this is the first thing you have to do now what i will do i have to get the abi so if you make any changes in the contract right you know you can see that i haven't make any changes in the contract so i can go with the same abi which i have here the previous abi but in case you have to get your own abi so to get your abi all you have to do is come back here and you can go back to the artifact inside the artifact you will have the abi so click on this is the airdrop json click on that and here we have the entire abi so simply select all of that now come back to the vs select this remove this one and paste here so this is the entire abi of our airdrop contract so that's the second thing you have to do once you're done with that save it and close that one so what we have done we have simply deploy our contract airdrop contract in that we have provided this particular token address which we want to allow user to make the claim so looks good and that's the only thing you have to do simply close all of that close this one now you can come back to the application so this is the one it's running no it's not running so let me come back here and let me start the application so we already are into this particular folder simply type npm run dev and this will start our application on local 3000 you can simply copy and paste in the browser but i already have it so, so i will simply reload the page back to the pages inside the pages you will have this airdrop section and here we have all of that here we have all of that so we have this document verification you can simply get into this verification section and here you will have all of the section we have so this is one is for the twitter so this one is for twitter again which i will cover extensively in the project so this one is for twitter and this one is for linkedin and this one is for instagram and this one is for email so if you don't want to do any verification or any like posting on social media platform you can simply comment this and you can simply and i will also provide you the important links in the description or you can simply download the starter file which i have provided here so simply download the starter file and we're going to code every single thing from stay here so we have provided all the resources like you can check the packages.json file that what exactly we have in the modules how we are designing the architecture what are the pages we have so the starter file is given i want you to simply download and you can simply follow the instruction which i have also provided to all of you guys that what are the versions and what are the things you will get and how you can run this one so that's the only thing from my end i hope you guys appreciate if you have any question any doubt do let me know in the comment section regarding this project i'll definitely try to include in the project so with that i'm andy dix have a wonderful day